So I sit down and the girl that's like next to me urges me to like scoot out. So I stand up and she gets out and then she tells me to like scoot on the inside. Mm. I don't really want to do that. So I'm like, oh no, I'm all, I'm good. Her friend taps me. She goes, it's probably a good thing you didn't sit down. And I was like, why? And she goes, well, my friend just peed in the booth. Mm. And that's the thing about these ladies nowadays. They're bold. They'll so mark their territory. Bold. That's her why booth. Why was she trying to get me to sit down in it? Uh, I've heard of a kink. You're kink shaming right now. Lamborghini Mercy. Yo, Trick, she's so thirsty. What? I'm in that juicy Lambo with your girl. She trying to jerk me. What's Jared keep looking Wait, at, man? No, okay. You kept saying juicy. It's two seat. I knew I, I wasn't don't care. crazy. Yeah, you no, are crazy. I'm not crazy. Welcome to episode you 130. Like I was dumb. Uh, welcome to episode 135 of Dropouts. Uh, I'm in my villain era. I don't okay. care about anything. No one matters to me. I've had my heart broken way too many times. Ow, don't and I'm touch over it. my boo. How many cousins do you have? Uh, over 100. All of them getting ran through. <laughs> Every single one Every of them. Every single one of them? Every single one of them are going to get piped down. By you? Yeah. A DocuSign, hello sign, sign it to you. Emails going out to them tonight. We're keeping it consensual, but just let you know, whoever whoever writes back is getting ran through. Um, Only the boards are getting ran through in June. I do want to keep that a uh, buck. A lot of them are under 18, so that might be a little... Uh, worries. I'll fly him to a country. Okay, obviously. What I, country okay. has laws with like no, a, obviously, a four-year-old? A f- obviously, in my, I'm in my villain era. But yeah. I'm not in my pedophile era. Okay. And for you to bring that up just shows you how disgusting you, just, you are. No, you said every single one of my cousins. Of age. It doesn't need to be said. Okay, if, I'm well, like, if I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to the bar to meet a girl, do you think I'm going to go out there and be like, hey, who's that baddie with the Crayola crayon set? <laughs> No. <laughs> Where are you going? Exactly. There's a Crayola. You said every single one of my cousins. You said every single hey, one. Intro music. So I'm just taking do you, like you your at teeth, your word. Or do you want them on the ground? Huh? I'm in my villain era. So don't, I, I no, don't mess Let's with take me a right shot now. every time you say I'm in my villain era. No. Uh, the, the, the first off, I'm already vaccinated. Or before the first five minutes. I'm already vaccinated. <laughs> I want to start off, speaking of handsome, about two minutes before this podcast, Zach was trying to like make out with handsome or you were trying to get him to like tongue the inside of your mouth. No, I wasn't. Mm. I could tell he was. <laughs> it's a kiss. You're disgusting. I only did that to prove that animals are gross. And humans are the top species. <laughs> See, every time I come on this podcast, you paint me in a bad light. That dog has a good sniffer on him, and he loves food. You know what was in my mouth recently? Food. Alyssa, I need you to do a tier list of your hottest cousins, and then do another one based on personality, and I'll cross-sect the two um, graphs to see which one I want to marry and which one I just want to spoink. Wait, how many cousins do you have? I only know of two. You only know two cousins? Okay, it's well, going to be a small females. graph. <laughs> small, uh, this is more like a Venn diagram. I'm over it, man. These girls. What about these girls? They want to throw it. They, they're passing my heart around like it's uh, like it's Tom Brady. And guess what they're not doing? Retiring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hut, hut, hike, pass the ball. It's like, oh, next season they'll be out of the race. So we can have my heart back. Nope, they're still throwing it. Would you say they're deflating your heart at the same time? <sighs> We're not bringing up deflate gate. You know that was a, a tough time in his lineage. So your cousin, which one, which one do you think I'd get along best with? I honestly, I, I know I have like a bunch of cousins, but I'm really only close with like four or five of them. Shout out a name. Alicia. Mm. She's, she's the only one. She sounds like she has the key to my heart. The that keys. I'm close with. It's an Alicia Keys joke. How's your week I been? I didn't hear. It was, it was pretty good. You know, this weekend we went out again. We, we had some birthday parties to go to, which were very fun. Um, but I was not looking forward to it because we have, I personally have been destroying my body uh, by drinking. You're an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. We just. What is it called? We you were, drink alcohol every day and you need it to survive. And I don't function. need it to survive. That's what you tell yourself in the mirror. But is it true? Do you have more yes. alcohol in your bloodstream than blood no <laughs> don't give me that look well, i'm just i just want to know why you're on such a bender right now i don't know it's that season i guess maybe well, january we were in Punta Cana. okay we were there for what four days okay, don't flex on them just because we get all expense paid trips doesn't mean we're better than everyone else except for I you did. you and you keep going <laughs> didn't say that yes you did we were there for four days all inclusive so drank my little heart out and then we come back and then we we have the girls on the podcast drank that night and then you kissed one of them. Let's just I start did. there. Okay. And then yes, you did. We talked about it on the podcast. Okay. On the trip. I thought you meant that.
that night. Twice. We get like one day break and all of a sudden we're back to partying and I really, I really just need to detox. But the birthday parties were fun. I am glad I did go out. Alyssa gave a hell of a halftime speech to convince me to go out. I feel like I set up the halftime speech. You know, I, like I was a quarterback on the team. Big How did bong, you set it touchdowns up? Because you didn't want to go to the birthday parties. And what did I say? I said, these are birthday parties. You know, these are people that took the time out to invite you to the most special day of the year for them. And you wanted to stay home and just exist. You just took credit for what Alyssa said. She's our assistant. I can take credit for anything she does. And then it's mine. It's what we pay her for. When I, when I first came to the podcast, she's like, Oh, do a villain bit where, uh, you're like this bad boy, blah, blah, blah. Do you think I want, no, I'm a sentimental guy. I respect women. So love it's women. Alyssa's idea for you to be the villain, right? Yes, now. yes, yes. She wants, why me, would you do that? To exactly. Me? She wants me to do you see what I'm dealing with. He's punched my boob twice on this podcast already. I think three times. Which one's your Josh Peck? Which one's your Drake Bell? That's funny. It's not. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Wait. I got. So, I have some funny stories, or like just a, a couple funny moments from uh, when we went to David Alvarez's birthday. Um, so it was at this bar called Dirty Laundry, which uh, is in like the basement of this really old building off of Hollywood. And so hot as hell down there, first of all. And there's probably it a- felt moist. It felt like it felt like the Georgia humidity had somehow creeped its way in. <laughs> Somebody brought in a suitcase and released it in there. It was just like there's like a hundred people down there and everybody's just like hot breath and like dancing and sweating and stuff. Um, I did have a funny moment. So my watch went off. It likes to ask me, um, if I'm working out, if my heart rate gets too high and I was dancing so hard with Zane for so long that by the end of the night I had burned enough calories and like dance long enough that I met both my goals for my watch, which for those of you listening is 30 minutes of exercise and 710 calories. Um, if you go to any party in LA, Zane Hajazi is going to be there. Oh yeah. And you want to get there before him because if you don't get there before him, he's going to be drinking. He's going to be throwing it back and he gets, and if he knows you even a little bit, he's going to get a wave of excitement when he sees you when he's drunk. So I I walk in, I I see, I see Zane in the back. He's already dancing heavy, doing squats, doing limbos. I was like, this guy's had alcohol in his system for a while now. Everybody up in his sight. And that's what I knew. I was like, I got to go say hi to him, but I know he's either going to pick me up or he's going to jump on me. I, I get inside his bubble. I'm in his aura. I'm like, how are you doing? He doesn't say a word. He's got his uh, drunk glasses on. He jumps on me. (laughs) I'm caressing his legs around me as he leans back and I'm holding his body. Oh, and I am a frail man. This feels like a very like magic Mike kind of, it was, yes, it was the most jovial time. Um, erotically jovial time I've had in (laughs) erotically jovial that I've had in quite, quite a minute um he is air humping me for what <laughs> feels like five minutes but Zane i think gets athletic when he gets drunk he gets he uh yeah he can run the 40 in a full second faster <laughs> when he gets drunk but i'm just holding up his body and everyone's kind of like cheering me on and i'm like i don't think you guys understand that i did not consent to this nor can i hold him up for very much longer and then we were so my other little bit so we were sitting at this booth and um there were these two girls there and I sat down on the outside edge on their of, lap, one, of the, you? one of the booths. Oh, one yeah, the, yeah. No, no, no. One of the girls was very inebriated. Okay. And, and that's the one you tried to take advantage of? No. Which one did you try to take advantage I didn't of? I try to take advantage of it. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So Usually uh, you go for the easy kill. I No, I don't. You like the road kill that's almost dead. And you can just kind of pick it up off the ground. and can't do anything because it can't walk, right? Holy fuck. No. That's what you're trying to do to them? That's, no. Stop. Why are you trying to keep it biblical? Why are keep you trying going. to gaslight this right now? Okay. All right. So I sit down, we start talking, and then the girl that's like next to me urges me to like scoot out. I'm Mm -hmm. like, okay, she's probably like got to go to the bathroom or Or hate sitting next to you or probably hate sitting next to me, whatever the coin. So I stand up and she gets out and then she tells me to like scoot on the inside. Mm. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. Like the, I just, I just needed to sit down for a second. Um, cause I was about to pass out. It was so hot down there. And so I'm like, Oh no, I'm all, I'm good. I'm good. And then her friend taps me and, and I turn around she goes, it's probably a good thing you didn't sit down. And I was like, why? And she goes, well, my friend just peed in the booth. And that's the thing about these ladies nowadays. They're bold. They'll mark so their territory. Bold. I don't know. That's her why booth. Why was she trying to get me to sit down in it? Uh, I've heard of a kink. You're kink shaming right now. Oh, you think that's a, she has like a, a, a piss fetish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just you looking me in the eyes and saying those two words. Um, you didn't like it? No, I think I divulged a kidney stone, but it's fine. <laughs> 
Um, no, I think she's got a little bit of peace fetish. Maybe she, uh, I don't really like this word squirt, squirted because um, it's mostly urine. Mm-hmm. So maybe sitting next to you, she was so turned on. Oh, I fluids don't fell that, out. I don't and think uh, that was it. Why? You're um, a handsome guy. Everybody at the party was saying it. No. You know what? Every so Speaking of this, okay, Zach, unintentionally, I'll give this to you. Oh, I'll determine if this is intentional. Unintentionally is the biggest cock block you could ever no, be. No, I'm the biggest wingman man ever. No, hold on. And it's not because of anything that you do. It's purely. I just, can't listen to the rest of the story with bad breath. Keep going. Okay. Ooh, can I have one actually? It's purely because of your good looks. Okay. And I say that. It is. It's a very big compliment, um, but every no, without fail, every single girl, whether we're like just talking to them normally or trying to like, you know, catch a vibe, will gravitate towards Zach, and I just become the runt of the litter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the math is there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna rebuttal. What do you? Yeah. What do you have I to say for think- yourself? I don't think that the estrogeners of the places we're frequenting, Alyssa, either laugh into the microphone or don't laugh at all. <laughs> um, oh, she just snorted. All right. I really hope the mic picked that up. I don't think the estrogeners that you assume are wanting to get at me in a romantic, physical, um, flirty, fl- flirtatious way are actually doing that. I think... I think I go up and I just start conversation because uh-huh. I'm interested in human beings. Okay. And you're kind of in the back a little scared, a little wide-eyed. So why would someone come up to a deer who looks like he's about to get ran over by a Mack truck besides, you know what I mean? Because you're like, what do I say to him? Do I, I don't look like you're that. Like, you're like, do I like chase the house out of the areolas? I'm like, Jared, <laughs> hype down, man. We're going to ask where they're from, their sign, and what they do in LA. I, and we don't care about it, any of them. <laughs> I know I try to engage in conversation, but it's hard when you're trying to talk to somebody. Okay. If uh, it, it, let's say we're in a conversation right now, I'm the girl, you're me, and Alyssa is you. Okay, the, it's hard to have a conversation with somebody. Like, ask me a question. No, no, no. I'm talking. So you're to the Zach. girl. I'm the girl. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do though. What you should do. I'm no, gonna no, be no, you. no. But I'm. You're me right okay. now. Okay. First, I'll okay. just be you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> See you know what I mean. <laughs> you can't just be smiling at them. You got to go in. You got, they got to earn the smile because they're trying to earn my smile. They've already figured out. They're like, oh, I don't have to do anything. Earned his smile. You know, I'm already pretty enough for his smile. This guy, I got to tickle his brain a little bit to get that smile out. We're playing the long game. We're playing the hard game. These women out here love I a puzzle. I don't think I can control my smile though. Like I just don't smile right now. Like remember that TikTok you sent me of resting smile face? Mm-hmm. I legitimately have that. You you tell me all the time it looks wrong if I try not to smile. Okay. Um... Okay, what, do we hire a kettle pot? What's going on over there? <laughs> so this is what you need to do. So the woman of interest is associating with me currently, and I'm you. So talk to talk to Zach. Yeah, no, so I'm from uh, <laughs> Connecticut. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you going to get her attention, yes or no? Yeah, but not the kind of attention I exactly. think I want. Exactly, let's meet in the middle on that. See, Where's the we're middle gonna... on that? How are you? <laughs> That's the middle. 100%. I feel like that's the start. Uh, oh, compliment. Oh, I, I really like this blouse. Cool. Thank you. Why'd yeah, you? Thank you. I really like your blouse. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Have so you anyway, seen all I'm of my from... teeth? I've been trying to show you the whole night. Have you seen yeah, every no. single one of my teeth? Uh, where I look are you like from? a primate who's being aggressive. <laughs> Fuck you. They don't let me into zoos because they think the chimpanzees are going to break out and attack me because I'm being so aggressive with my teeth. <laughs> they think they think I'm going to start Planet of the Apes. Whoa. What? Too soon. How is that too soon? Did that movie not scare anyone as a real possibility? I think so. Okay, but what do you want out of, okay, you go to a bar, you go to these things. Are you are you seeking a woman for marriage? Are you trying to court a woman? Are you just looking for a cheap makeout? What, what are you looking for when you go out? I'm not looking for anything. Okay, then I why just, are you so offended when, you know? Because when you have a conversation with someone, it's polite. To I don't me. even remember this happening. Can huh? you explain one instance? It was the two girls. Okay. Okay. That and the, the same ones that peed in the booth, the same mm-hmm. one. Well, and then her friend, her friend was sober and we were trying mm-hmm. to have a conversation. I was there. You were there. Was I engaged? Were you, yeah. Did I want to leave the booth? No, we were standing. Oh. We weren't at the booth. It was just the same girls. What girls were they? Oh, no, no, no. This is what happened. There was... There's two um, young people of female descent. Yes. And the one of them was super drunk. 
like crazy drunk. Okay. And she comes up to me and she keeps like, she no idea what the word she's saying. She's like, halibut. This is <laughs> halibut. Halibut. <laughs> she just really wants fish. For fish in my dreams. <laughs> and she's kind of like leaning into me and I'm like, oh, I can tell she's inebriated, a word that you used earlier that I'm mm-hmm. going to circle back on. Okay. And I was like, this, this young woman needs some water. And as the usually the sober one there, I'm 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 I'm, I'm scouting out the water always. I gotta stay hydrated at these places. Yeah, very humid. I uh, I part the ways at the bar. I'm like, hey, because they have a water part, and I bring some water. And um, her friend was with her, and I give both of the young ladies water because one of them was just a little too drunk, and that's why they felt like I was a very nice person for doing that for them, and that's why they engaged with me so much. This wasn't because either of them wanted to see. What's behind the zipper? I'm not. All right? They didn't want to. No, they didn't want to unhook the crocodile jaws. The zipper. Then what is it about? It's just about I was a human a, conversation. I was a hero. A lot of people were saying. I mean, my villain era now. But for that moment, <laughs> I, I was in. I was Captain America. I was sh- 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 shiver, shiver, <laughs> So N- nailed it. You nailed um, that pronunciation. So, uh, um, are we done recounting our? Trivial party days in LA. These people don't. Yeah, these I, people I, don't care that we're out here having fun, being youthful. They want to know what's in our minds. They come here for the tactile advice and informational plots that we can add into their lives. No, I I felt like the uh, you the, don't think that we're the one stop shop for uninstitutionalized education. Uh, no, I don't think Dropouts Podcast is the one stop shop for uninstitutionalized education. Well, welcome to the irony. Okay, wait. Speaking of love interests and partners and stuff. What are you doing? I want to hold the mic in a unique way. Go for it. Knock yourself out. No, I want to remain conscious for this podcast. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, I saw this TikTok that was kind of Scenced. an interesting. It's not scenesed. Just okay. use, it as, use it in the sentence. I scenesed this TikTok. Better. It was kind of a. Hey, snorty McSnorterson. <laughs> Snorting to the mic. We're not getting anything from it. All right. was kind of an interesting um I don't know the word to describe it, but uh, like principle, I, I don't know what. Uh, anyway, so she's describing a time where she got proposed to by her now ex-boyfriend, um, or I guess technically ex-fiance, because she did say yes, but ended it later. But the story's going wild. Go, okay, keep going. This is this is why she ended it though, because uh, before he proposed, okay, he cheated on her. Not good to do. While she was pregnant with his kid. Okay. Okay. So they had a big fight. He, you know, she's, she, her words, she said, I listened to a sob story and I took him back three days later. He proposed. Okay. And she said, yes, bold move. Yeah, I know. Um, love the timeline. And then when they were talking about, uh, marriage and okay. stuff, she proposed that they get a prenup. Okay. And one of the clauses in it says that if either partner cheats, the other one pays uh, like for emotional damages. Okay. That's when he got really apprehensive about getting married. And she said he reluctantly agreed, but after that, uh, became way less excited about the idea of getting married. Cause and, it seems like he likes to cheat. Yeah. Like imagine, so, so, imagine you love chicken nuggets. Uh huh. Someone comes up to you and says, not again. Okay. How would you feel? I wouldn't feel good. And then someone writes it in a contract government <laughs> signed. That if you eat a chicken nugget, you yeah, got, you're you gonna have to pay, pay retribution. Yeah, that would suck. Exactly. Yeah. Am I equating chicken nuggets to the the act of cheating, nefarious acts outside of marriage, the act of adultery, some adultery, way to, the Scarlet A? Remember, you said, I mean, what I say, you can't wait to commit adultery on <sighs> the woman you marry because you think bringing her down emotionally will make her love you more or something because of. You say I try to make you look bad at the beginning of this podcast. So the way that I treat you in a negative way, a lot of people pick up on, oh, he's, he's risen him, he's, he's racking him, he's, he's doing all this, you know, he's saying stuff in words we can get, where yours is, your manipulation is, you know, it's off camera, it's it's something that seeps into my life. And, what are you and grows talking like about? grows like vines around my heart and my mind, and I get in such a place where, you know, I, I spend the day in bed, depressed, wondering if friendships to the door to my left, or, or, or is that just a fiend trying to use me until he... Just be honest, Alyssa. Do you think Jared um, has used me to equip himself with monetary gain and stardom? Monetary, let's hear from let's hear from Alyssa. Monetary gain. She's asked the question. Still living paycheck to paycheck. Let's ask. Let's ask Alyssa. What do you think? No. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> I heard my laugh in the headphones, and I don't want to ever talk into the microphone again. Thank no, you. No, 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 no. Don't don't put it down. Okay. That's an anomaly. 
<laughs> that's not an anomaly. That's the truth. That's just too small of a sample size to even know. You're the one that asked her. I thought you'd give a different answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it would be the perfect sample size if she said It'd be the an answer. anecdotal argument that I would go off for the rest of my life if she. Listen, I really. You don't feel like that, do you? <laughs> See the manipulation? You're going to become a millionaire because of me for no reason. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> just because you're hot doesn't mean you can do anything you want in life. Why would you laugh at that? No, bring up the mic. I said. It's, it socks. So high up. <laughs> stop making fun of my socks. I cut my pants a little too high. <laughs> You've been on this thing lately where every time. I, it's not a thing lately. I've cut two pairs of pants. Okay, the last two days, every single time you've come downstairs, you've not had a, a pant alone in its original form. Well, Why are they all cut? Because the first pair, okay. I wanted to, I have these like, I've had them since high school. I had this pair of like green cargo joggers, uh -huh. but I didn't like the little elastic end at the bottom. So I never wore them, but I really wanted to wear them the other night. And so I was just like, hell, I've seen other people do it where they cut off the bottom of their pants. Let me try this. So I cut off the elastic end and I, it, it looked great. And then I have these brown pants on that I really never wear because I, I didn't like the bottom of them either. Like I thought, I don't know what I thought. So Lisa laughing about me. I cut them a little too high. Don't disrespect okay. him. He's telling his pants, pick up the mic. Do I look like I'm about to go wading in a flood? Yeah. All right. I'll be honest. Why are you laughing at Jared about his flood story? I just think every time I look at them, I don't know. They're so high. Maybe it's been a sock issue this whole time. It's the it's socks. A, what about the socks? They're just high. Do you think high. that's why he feels like he's been slided by women is because of the socks, not because of his They have to be smiling. high because I like, you can know. We, can we bring this back to me, please? Sure. <laughs> what do you want to talk <laughs> Could about? Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> You're, there's people out there like this, and it's me. Ask me questions. Pretend this is my interview. You're interviewing Zach Justice. Don't worry about what you've prepared, man. No. Hey. No. We don't Handsome. need all this. Handsome. Where are you going? What are you, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? What? I don't know what question to ask. I don't. Why would you ask me the most rudimentary question in the entire world? Ask me something that's going to tickle my brain and give these people some, some good stuff. What am I going to do in five to ten years? What is the job interview for Costco? I don't know what to ask. When do you feel most alive? I love the fear in her eyes when she <laughs> asks that question. Because <laughs> it's, either, it's either good question and I praise you or I rip you a new one. And that's my villain era talking. Um, the time I feel m most alive um, is simple. Family, friends. South Georgia, possibly Kentucky, Tennessee, depends where we are, as long as my family and friends are there. Country music blaring in the background. Everybody's got a little bit of a buzz. I don't because I'm already high on life. Throwing bags. We're throwing cornhole. We're into our probably fifth game, fifth game of the day. It's really starting to get competitive. We're throwing expletives at each other. We, we've, got, we've got wings coming out later. Blue cheese dressing by the boatload. And ranch. Uh, uh, <sighs> Sorry. This is my day. I know. You know? Sorry. Yep. Isn't it funny how Zach gets to express his day once and you have to jump in? And you're like, oh, I'll smile so everybody feels like everything's okay. No, I'm sorry. No, keep going. No, no. Can I interview you continue. now? Apparently no, that's what you no, want. No, no, I was just. Well, that'd be my perfect day. Okay. What's Jared's perfect day? Seems like you really are waiting for it. I, I'm sure ranch would be involved, huh? <laughs> I would just add ranch to that day. Gotcha. No, continue. Um, a beautiful woman there who's kind of new and. Uh, maybe this is like the second or third time we've hung out, so it's still like fresh. We're still trying to get to know each other a little bit. Um, what, dude? Nothing. That just seems oddly specific. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, I'll take your word on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on, huh? Okay. For the audio listeners, <laughs> don't worry about it. Hey, for the audio listeners, we have video. Is there something that you've dreamed about doing for a long time but haven't done it? And why not? Probably stand up comedy. You know, it's something I've wanted to get I, I want to get into okay. this year. You said you were gonna get into it. Hey, bud! I took it away from you from a reason. Did you know she's a snorter when we hired her? No. I found out about two weeks ago that she snorts on the regular. Mm. <laughs> that would have been a no, major put it, put it to your flag. mouth. I try to keep it secret. No. It just comes out when I laugh really hard sometimes. I find it cute. And not in like a I'm definitely gonna breach our HR um, documents, but in like a what? <laughs> Nothing. Why would you even bring that up? <laughs> to make her feel safe. Oh, watch this. I'm never going to declothe you without your consent and, and touch you in places you don't want to be touched. People want to hear that to be not because they think I'm thinking about it to confirm that I wouldn't. Right? <laughs> I, I am. So. 
I am never going to set up a secret camera in where your fan outlet is that I've already looked at the screws and made sure you could definitely do it in your bathroom. I'm never going to do that. Now, you know she's going to worry about that. I'd shower pretty if I were you. Anyway, <laughs> why are we doing your dating show? We keep hearing about it. I think we're planning on shooting it this week. Is there, are we gonna, actually going to do it? Thursday. Do you already have the place like purchased? We have to go over that. Well, okay. So she showed me one place. It's this like nice little bungalow. cafe, bungalow, if you want to call it. Um, and so we're going to do it there. We get the whole place. Um, and I feel like it would be funny or like nice to production value wise to set it up. Like we're at a nice restaurant, you know, there, there are, like a dozen or a handful or something of submissions that were actually here in LA. Are you going to have all, is it going to be one-on-one -on -one, like each woman one-on-one -on -one, or so. are you going to do all of them together? No, I think it'd be more fun to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Can I have the ones you don't want? Sure. Like if you only pick one, I can have the rest like the 11. Um, I feel like that's up to them, but it's not, you can. Okay. Huh? What are we in the fifties? <laughs> <laughs> well, the diner might say otherwise. Exactly. Let's keep to our roots. Huh? I feel like the winner, you guys need to go on a date, like a nice date. Okay. Again, all expense paid trip to pay Disney. For Are you going to pay Dropouts for it? can. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, somebody <laughs> wants to slob on a knob about now, to huh? Sign up. <laughs> exactly. So, someone wants to go about four inches deep. That's rude. And you know that. I assume you'd be soft because you're not attracted to her. What do you value most in a person? Um, Probably just their body. <laughs> You know, okay. What their about out, their outer appearance? Uh -huh. If they're symmetrical, got a nice pair of tits on them. Mm -hmm. so, some would say that's pretty shallow to say. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. Well, so just, are you? You just better person. be glad I'm not in a kiddie pool. <laughs> Ow. Um, what do I actually value in a in yeah. person? Um, I say loyalty. Um, I I think this overarching feeling of feeling safe when I'm with them, and cool. I really like intellectual people. Uh -huh. um, but Someone not you can have a conversation. Not in like a show offy way. More in of we're on the same wavelength. Yeah. We, we understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. And like if something's weird in the room, and we can kind of both look at each other, and like this person's a little <laughs> off. Have that moment. Yeah. Blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Blonde hair, big tits, and a fat ass. <laughs> I can't believe you say that. Mine was joking. Yours was real. It was not real. I was joking. What's oh, so you hate small boobs? I mean, you. Holy I mean, hell. you hate big boobs. The way you twist. Words okay. Would is you rather? Huh? Would you rather? Would you rather be a hundred percent physically attracted to them, but only sixty percent like emotionally attracted to them, or sixty percent physically and a hundred percent emotional? Sixty percent physically, hundred percent emotionally. About forty percent physically. Oh, we found our line. No, I would still do that. 30. Now we're getting into some mm. territory. You Although, only idolize did, beauty. did you like, did you ever like have people in your life that you found yourself being attracted to for just purely their personality when their looks normally wouldn't be something you'd go for? Is that the hinge bio for yourself? No. <laughs> Why would that be the hinge bio for me? Because that's what we literally had a conversation. You're like, I feel like girls really connect with me on an emotional level, but they can't get past physically. So I was wondering if you were like that's reading not my there. That's not my hinge bio, mm. but that's just something like I remember. And he keeps talking about how many girls he doesn't get. This guy's hinge is pot. Bing, bang, bing, 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 bing. And Alyssa's. I'll not. tell you that much. Alyssa's is. Alyssa's Mine's been, not. Alyssa's is. Alyssa's. I don't have hinge. Oh, you're 26. You're allowed <laughs> to be on a dating app. <laughs> she said, <"Shh>, my mom <laughs> listens to this. <laughs> My mom, did, my, I don't want my mom to know I'm actually venturing out and meeting men. Your parents want you to have kids. How do you think they're going to... Does fuck? your mom think that you're uh, slamming either of us? <laughs> Zach, what's your most treasured memory? With Alyssa? No, just uh, in when general. When I woke up, she was staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so nervous. You can pick up the mic. One time, Zach sent me this TikTok of... Um, what was his name? David... David Spade. <laughs> And almost getting killed by his assistant because <laughs> his assistant was just staring at him in the doorway at night. How would you once. how would you kill both of us? Well, I can't tell you. No, why well, not? Unless oh. you plan to. So <laughs> that, that seems a little sus. That seems right. like she kind of thought about it. I don't know. Probably at night. Great. Maybe something with fire. <laughs> what are you gonna burn, burn the us house alive? Down? What the fuck, Alyssa? Do you hate us that much? <laughs> You just asked a question. It's so painful. You though. do it the same way though. It's kind of boring. Obviously, I'd make it out of the fire and seek vengeance, and Jared would die because he probably wouldn't know how to get out of bed because he'd be so scared of the flames. But <laughs> Jared's a really heavy sleeper. Oh yeah, he would just oh, burn. I yeah, I would be out. That would be such an easy. You'd kill. wake up three shades darker and be canceled. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask this again. What's your most treasured memory? 
Um, my most treasured memory would probably be high school tennis like on that? the bus. Oh. It was just so much fun. Our school, for whatever reason, I don't know if all the attractive um, girls got together and were like, we're going to play tennis. Um, but I think they did <laughs> um, because they were some smoke shows. And every bus ride, every you, bus ride, what? You, you got to have an intellectual conversation with a woman of beauty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious where you were going with that. Are you insinuating that I told you once I, I did some hanky panky on a bus? Maybe, but I wanted that, it to come out of your mouth. That was on our grad party bus ride, not our tennis bus ride. So what's your most terrible memory? Um, I think all of my breakups have been pretty bad. All right. Can we move on to the next question? Do you want to play same, same, but different? Sure. What is that? What's same thing, but different? She'll explain it. Oh, oh, okay. Same, same, but different. Oh, what is same, same, but different? Name one thing you could say here and also here. Okay. Okay. Something you could say to a waiter and while hitting on someone. Yo, I'm trying to get serviced. <laughs> Fuck. You know? <laughs> that was so fast. How do you think? Of, okay. A waiter. You want some butter between these buns? Damn. I want my, I want my donut Boston cream filled. That I want, I want my whole cream. I want bought. I still haven't thought of one. You say anything. You're the best boy. Yeah, say tell him. <laughs> no, stop. He don't. has something to say. Don't let don't him chew silence it. Silence minorities. Don't, I'm not silencing minorities. I'm. If he was a white dog, I'm, you let him speak. No, I'm stopping the dog from chewing on the mic. <laughs> what do you have against black dogs? I don't have anything against black dogs. I have a thing against dogs trying to chew on our equipment. Okay, let me have my mic. Back. No. Okay. Then you hold it for no, me. No, no, no. I don't want to hold it for you, but just don't put it in his mouth. <laughs> can I can I get you to go? That was terrible. That's good. So good. No, that's good, man. That was good. I liked okay. it. I think it's just the, the delivery. You've got to be more confident. Something you can say on a roller coaster and when rejecting someone. I just don't like when I go down on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fuck, this sucks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Imagine just telling someone that though as you're they're turning them down. No, it's not like it's not like it's me. It's not me. It's a, this just sucks. Like this is not tight. You and I are not tied together. And, and speaking of not tight, it's not tight. You know what I mean? I don't think it's very tight. There's one. Oh, okay. Something you could say at the dentist and when you have your first kiss. Oh, now that we're done with that, you ready for the filling? Oh, my what, dude? God. <laughs> what man? That's atrocious. No, it's a step system. It's, it's, it's one. Plus two, we're gonna get to three. You know? <laughs> your step systems one, two, skip a few. I'm gonna put it in your hole. That's what I just heard. God damn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gasp. I said it in such a way that wasn't as intrusive. After this, we're gonna get to drilling. Wait, wait, did you say that? <laughs> no. Oh. But no, it works. <laughs> okay. Don't, you gotta be more confident. I know. Confident. The, you, you look know at what? me in such disgust. This is exactly my problem, mm. right? This is exactly how I talk. When I'm in the moment, that's when you when you're having sex. Is what you say? No, let's get to dr let's get to drilling if you want to. Okay, something you can say while choking and while having sex in the airplane bathroom. <coughs> Help me, man! You really got it in the cockpit. You know, because like what? <laughs> I don't know. Cockpit. No, he's got something to say. Don't silence <laughs> he's him. He's trying to chew the mic. I would never silence your species. I'm not a humanist. No, look, look at how intently he's staring at that because he thinks it's a toy. It's not a toy. It's a microphone and he knows it. <laughs> the way she just took him away and he longed for the microphone looked like she was taking him away from his family. I just thought of one for the, the coughing and what was it? Having sex in a get, get behind me or slam me from behind. No. <laughs> what? I mean, mine was bad, but what was that? Slam me from behind? What does it matter that you're cough? I, oh, the Heimlich. The Heimlich. That's okay. what I was thinking. Yeah. <sighs> I'm terrible. No, it was just, I thought you were just, just <laughs> slam me from behind. <laughs> no, it works. It works. It works. Something you could say while watching a horror movie and while losing your virginity. I didn't expect the uncle to be the one behind the mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's terrible. Um... Uh, I didn't think there would be this much blood. <laughs> good one. Thank That's you. a good wow. one. Yeah. Good there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something you could say while passing a kidney stone and when your pregnancy test is positive. 
Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to push both of these out prematurely and smash them. Whoa. <laughs> have done without the last part yeah something you could say to an exterminator and when you get an amber alert on your phone i hope this leaves soon <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know what i mean has anyone looked at an amber alert and been like yeah let's go find the subaru i don't think so never unfortunately uh, yeah it is really sad um 20 minutes later six hours later exterminator one eternity later. You get one pass. Uh, I'll pass on this one. Something you can say while struggling to put a fitted sheet on your bed and when friend zoning someone. The thing is, you fit in some corners of my life, but not others. Oh, that was very good. Thanks. How'd you think of that so fast? You're impossible to deal with. There you go. There we nice. go. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. I feel like you guys are patronizing. No, it's just when you do good, it's like a little toddler. It's like, oh, you took your first steps, but you're four. Let's figure it out, huh? <laughs> Shit. Okay, something you can say while brushing your teeth and Getting while spooning. Oh, don't stick it too far back. <laughs> you know, because we're just spooning and then gag reflex. All right, that was a terrible one. What's yours? Fuck, how does hair get in my mouth? You ever get rogue hairs on, on your toothbrush? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, never mind. No, I do. No, I do. That. I'm and like spooning when you're the big spoon yeah. and you get all the hair. Yes. yes. All right, next. Okay. Nah. okay, do you want to do a trivia test? Yes. That this article said. 100%. Okay. I'm a big trivia guy. Oh, wait. While I was pulling uh, pulling up the trivia test, did you know? Okay. I thought this was funny timing. In the last episode, mm -hmm. you said that my like drunk alter ego name was Bal Buzz Aldrin because I'm going to the moon, right? right? Did you know the next day yes. was not only his 93rd birthday? Of course. But he got married yeah. on that day? Yeah. I planned things out like that. There's no way. It's just, I'm calculated. Not a big deal. What's the quiz? According to uh, this this article that had the quiz, it's facts that supposedly everyone should know if you're a functioning member of society. Okay, probably won't know any, but it's fine. Okay. Number one, true or false, is North America the largest continent by landmass? No. Okay, false. false. That's correct. What material is David of Michelangelo made out of? Oh, wait, I think there's options. Uh, okay, I was like, I don't know. Stone. Rose quartz? <laughs> stone, marble, ivory, or iron? I want to say marble, but that seems like the easiest answer. So I'll say stone. Marble. Okay, so it's like, it's just <laughs> stuff you should know. That's, no, okay. It's not trying but, to but, trick you. No, it's not trying okay, to trick you. Okay, then marble, yeah, yeah. Okay, guess the country with these three clues. Okay. A renal volcano, rainforest, and ranked number one on Happy Planet Index. St. Lucia, Bahamas, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, or uh, Nicaragua? Puerto Rico. That was not one of the options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Costa Rica. It is Costa Rica. All right. What is the rigid outer section of Earth called? Stratosphere, atmosphere, heliosphere, or lithosphere? Stratosphere. Lithosphere. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I've never heard that in my entire life. You've never heard I'm of the lithosphere? Of no. Which of these sauces is made from eggs, herbs, butter, and vinegar? Bernays, velout. Oh, Bernays. Okay, it's Bernays. Nailed it. Um, acute angles are angles oh, that are uh, less degrees? than 90 degrees. Less than 90. I'm not even worried. Dude, didn't even hear the response. Because you're an acute angle. Oh, thank you. Which creature moves in huge groups on Christmas Island? Alaskan king crab, peacock spider, sea turtle, penguin, or right? red crab? Oh, red crab. Damn, how do you know these? Because, dude, I'm out here. Okay, what is this British food? Beef Wellington, fish and chips, bangers and mash, shepherd's pie. I mean, I guess bangers and mash. Nailed it. <laughs> Dude, you're too good at this. Okay. I'm really mad at the marble Apparently thing. Apparently, you are a fictional or a functional member of society. Apparently, if, you're a fictional character. <laughs> if a doctor plans to specialize in nephrology, what will he or she treat? Stomach, lungs, legs, or kidneys? I don't know. I'm going to go kidneys. It's kidneys. Holy shit. True or false? Zeus is known as the king of God, gods in Greek culture. Yeah. Okay. True. All right. True or false? The lumbar curve is located in the, the leg of back. the human body. No, false. Damn. Uh, doing great. Um, what financial crisis spread throughout virtually the entire world affecting the US, Canada, much of Europe, South Africa, and Asia? The Great Recession, Cuban Missile Crisis, or the Great Depression? I don't. I would go depression, but I didn't know if the 2008 recession affected everybody, so I'm going to go with depression. It is the Great Depression. Call Me Ishmael is a Hi, Ishmael! <laughs> <laughs> is a line from which famous novel? To Kill a Mockingbird, Moby Dick, 
The Lord of the Rings or The Great Gatsby? <laughs> it's not Lord of the Rings. On the mic? Did you really just fucking sneeze on the mic? It's not It's not Lord of the Rings. It's not Lord of the Rings. I don't remember it in The Great Gatsby. So I think it's one of the other two. All right, which one is it? To Kill a Mockingbird was weird because my white teacher just wanted all the white kids to say the N-word. And they that's, were like, that's yeah. how most English teachers And they're like, you have are. to say it. Yeah. And I thought it was real weird. Uh, I'm going to go to Moby Dick. It is Moby Dick. Hell yeah, brother. All right. What is this Spanish dessert? Churros, arroz con leche, crema catalana, God, I'm butchering this, or tarta de Santiago? Which one? Like this whole all picture. Arroz is rice, right? You're asking the wrong person. Catalana. I'm going to get this one wrong, but I'm going to go with the tarta one. It is crema catalana. Yeah. Well, that looks like a tart, though. It does look like a And tart. now it looks like a churro. That's what confused me. I Yeah, I know. I, okay. I okay. I'm not perfect. The whole thing. These South American monsters can get over 20 feet in length and weigh several hundred pounds. What are they? Uh, Anaconda, Ad, Adhar, Lizard, Ang, Angula, Racer. Fuck me, dude. Okay. Uh, Abyssinian, Ginnett. Looks like an anaconda to me. It is an anaconda. Uh, Memory is a song featured in which musical? Cats, Miss Saigon, The Lion King, or Les Miserables? Les Miserables. It's Cats. <laughs> yeah, you know I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got that one wrong. Which word means to cause a large amount of damage or harm? Reek, R-E-E-K, or W-R-E-A-K? So like wreak havoc? Havoc? Yeah. Oh, the W one. It is the W one. Reek is like to smell bad. It is. Uh, a triangle with all equal sides is known as what? This was the easiest one. Um, a triangle with all equal sides. It's a right angle? Mm -mm. What is it? Equilateral. I just forgot that. The stock market is typically defined by which two animals? Lion and lamb, cat and dog, chicken and duck, oh, I don't bull know and this. bear. Bull and bear. It is bull, bull and bear. bear. Okay, I do know that. According to the song Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, how many reindeer did Father Christmas have? Eight. One, seven, nine, or twelve? There was Dasher and Dancer and Donner and Blitz and Comet and Cupid and... Uh, was one of them nine? Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. All right. Uh, and then last... Or no, no, no. Not last question. In what film would you see this? Oh, Harry Potter. Known for its annual long distance... How many more are race, there, man? This is the last one. Okay. Known for its annual long distance sled race from which, what city does oh. Ida Tarad launch? Uh, Anchorage, Juno, Fairbanks, or Yellowknife? I think it's Anchorage. It is Anchorage. Hell yeah, brother! You either... You hear that? All right, dude. No, no, what the fuck? No, that's the second time you've done that. <laughs> what is your problem? I did very well. What is your actual problem? Thank you guys for watching. If you stay to the end, make sure to send me a fun... Picture no, you're of, not popping my thumb. Send me your most recent uh, family portrait, please. Uh, I'm Zach Justice. You can follow me on Instagram at Zach Justice. Don't follow Jared. I'm Jared Bear Music on Instagram. Alyssa, hit the outro. Hit the outro music. Oh, Kill an arrow. Oh, I hit you a little bit too hard. I'm sorry. Ooh. Come here. No, come here. No, stop. Jared, no, I'm going to jerk done. you off because I'm we're sorry. Done. And you we're, know I am. No. Come here. Sit on it. Done.